Hi everyone, so it is day three of the reading rush. Um, I actually have not read much today. I read about 20, maybe 30 pages of um, Secret Life of Bees. It's really good, but I'm just so tired. The past two nights, I have not been getting much sleep. Um, like for example, last night, we woke up at 1.30, 3, and then at 5. Um, or was it 4.30? I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, we just have not been getting much sleep, so I'm so tired and so unmotivated, but, um, so yeah, I just need some motivation, and definitely seeing my husband read is a motivation for me, but I'm just still really tired and unmotivated, so I guess I'll update whenever I have something, or I'll show you my clip of my bullet journal. Hi everyone, uh, it is now Thursday, um, it's about like 5 o'clock and I have not really um, opened up my camera and you know made a video or like talked about what I was reading pretty much all day yesterday and all day today. I just kind of been reading and relaxing. Um, <clears throat> last night I did finish uh, Harry Potter and the Ch uh, no, I'm sorry. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I finished it in my Audible, in my audiobook. Uh, I did it while I was doing my bu bullet journal. I set it up for the month of August. Yeah, I finished that um, and it was as good as I remembered. Um, I actually now want to read the second one, but I don't know. We'll see. I am do have plans to read the fifth one for August for Newts, but um, I'm going to make a video on that later. But anyway, so yeah, I've spent the day reading The Secret Life of Bees. I'm on page 232, so I'm like almost done. I have that much left. Um, I have about 70 pages left. So yeah, I do really want to finish it tonight, but I don't know. Um, I went to go get my nails done. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like the... So I just got like a coral color underneath, and then I got like a dip powder on top. And it's called Unicorn, so it's like really shimmery, and I got my toes done. So yeah, um, I went to go with my friend, and we got our nails done, and then we went to go have lunch. And so yeah, now I've been at home for a while, and I got a lot of reading done while I was here. Um, I have to go to a little get-together at 7, um, but in the meantime, I'm going to just read while I, or before I get ready. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, so in total I've read three books and I'm almost done with the fourth one and then uh, after that I'll only have one more book to complete all of the challenges and then I can read the bronze key because the bronze key was a, just a bonus book for the first challenge to read a book with purple on the cover so yeah I could re either read that one which I probably am because I'm I really want to pick it up right now uh, and then I also want to pick up finale or finale or however you say it um the third book of the caraval series because um i basically left that one half read before the readathon started so yeah i have i have about i have one more book to complete all the challenges and then i have two more books that i really want to read um so yeah that's what's happening um i'll put in a clip of my bullet journal um because i did a lot of fun stuff i'm not really that creative but i took a lot of inspiration from like pinterest and instagram and stuff and youtube uh so yeah i'm just gonna continue reading and i'll have an update soon So it is actually day five of the reading rush and I finished my third book last, oh no, I finished it this morning. I finished The Secret Life of Bees. So I started uh, The Tattooist of Auschwitz and I am almost done. I have this much left right here. So I have like less than 100 pages to go and I'm actually really liking it. Uh, I don't really like the writing style too much, but I like the story. Um, it's really interesting. So yeah. Um, after I'm pretty much gonna finish this tonight and then after that I will have finished 
uh, all of my challenges and then I have two more books that I kind of want to add as a bonus I have the bronze key which I did add on my TBR but it's a bonus book and then also I kind of want to get to finale uh, the third book in the Caraval series but we'll see so yeah I'm actually doing really good um, we kind of had um, just kind of a busy not a busy day but we we're out all day we went shopping and we just uh, walked around and stuff um, so now we're getting dinner and we're gonna go back home and uh, just relax so yeah I'm gonna finish um, the Tattooist of Auschwitz and um, hopefully start on the bronze key and hopefully finish that really soon hi everyone so I have not vlogged in a long time it is now the final day of, of the reading rush it's day seven um, actually I think I, want, I think I gave an update on day five I just not I did not give an update on day six um, yeah it was kind of crazy and I'm just I was just too tired I did get to finish um, five books so I have one more left and I've actually completed all the challenges so the one that I'm actually finishing was on my TBR but it like I have it was for a challenge that I already completed so I am actually halfway through the bronze key which is the third book in the magisterium series and yeah I'm like halfway or actually a little more than halfway um yeah, I actually did not read much yesterday. I read in the morning. Uh, I read about 60 pages, and then that was it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but hopefully I will finish. At least I want to finish this book by tonight or by midnight, and that will be good. But I actually don't know if I'll be able to do that. But, yeah. <laughs> so, I actually completed uh, while I think it was maybe on day four five uh i actually completed all uh or my reading goal for the year so my reading goal is to read 30 books and i read um i think i did that on thursday <laughs> um but yeah i've actually read 31 already so that's very good so yeah i'll just give an update whenever i have one next hi everyone um so uh it is the final day i think i already gave an update never mind so yeah it's day seven and i just finished the last book on my tbr um even though it was like a bonus book i finished it um so now i have finished six books uh, i don't think i'm gonna finish the last or like seven i did not like uh pick a book for my seventh book but i kind of just wanted to finish up finale um but i don't think i'm gonna do that because i still have like 300 pages left of that so yeah uh, but yeah i finished the book and it was so good and it ended on such a big like cliffhanger i don't know about a cliffhanger but like it ended on such a big like ending that it was just like kind of insane and so i really want to pick up the, the fourth book but i can't find it anywhere so i might have to order it but yeah it's oh i need to read the fourth book so bad but yeah so this is the end of my reading rush i might I'm trying to think if I should do a wrap up in this vlog and in a separate video but I guess you'll see I'll just add an ending or something so yeah um, I hope you all finished all of your challenges um, it's just a satisfying feeling to do that so yeah I hope you all had a good reading rush and we'll see what happens right now hi everyone okay so I'm gonna be doing my wrap up for the reading rush this week I read a total of six books which is a record for me as far as the reading rush um i think i had said in my tbr video that normally i would read like four books um the most in the reading or during the booktubeathon um so actually i'm pretty proud of myself but that being said i did read pretty short books so like you know they're all really short and i read a graphic novel as well so yeah but um actually all the books i read besides one was a, they were all five star reads so yeah uh, okay i'm not gonna be giving too much details or like what i thought about the book uh, i'm just gonna give my rating and like that's pretty much it okay so first one i read a graphic novel and that was the rat queens volume two uh and i give this five stars i started this around midnight and i finished it like within 30 minutes so yeah this is a really fast read and i can't wait to pick up the next one um i really like the artwork for example it's just really good artwork and all the characters are really funny uh so yeah five stars 
As soon as I finished that, I picked up the Copper Gauntlet by uh, Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. This is a middle grade uh, series. Um, it's called the Magisterium series, and so yeah, I think I've talked much, enough about the series in my on my channel. But I gave this also five stars. Um, yeah, I read this maybe within two days. Um, it, kind of after like I read those or like I was picking those up. So like on Monday, like during the day, I started reading or listening to my audiobook of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I want to say I finished that later on in the week, but um, yeah, I gave that also five stars, obviously Harry Potter. <laughs> Okay, after that, I picked up The Secret Life of Bees by Suma Kid. Um, this one actually took me longer than all the other books to finish. Um, I don't know if it was just because of like the genre. It was kind of like historical fiction, uh, and those do take me longer to get to. Uh, but then like towards this last half of it, I couldn't put it down. I needed to know what was going to happen. And this became one of my favorite books uh, in 2019. This became, you know, up there. <laughs> so yeah, um, I love this book so much. I've discovered a new favorite and uh, yeah, I might want to read this sometime in the future. So yeah, I gave this five stars. Um, oh, I don't remember when I finished this. It might, might have been like maybe Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday, one of those. So after that, I picked up The Tattooist of Auschwitz. I want to say I picked this up on Friday, if I'm not mistaken. It might have been Friday. Um, so yeah, The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. And I actually finished this in one day. I could not put this book down. I gave this four stars. And I will talk more about this on my uh, official monthly wrap-up. But yeah, I gave this four stars. Um... That's all I'm gonna say. If you want to know why I gave this four stars and not five stars, because it was good, I couldn't put it down. I finished it in a day, but I gave it four stars for a reason. So yeah, you'll have to see my monthly wrap up, but yeah, four stars for the tattooist. And uh, the last book I read was The Bronze Key by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. This is the third book in the Magisterium series. I just finished this today and oh my gosh, this is a five stars. <laughs> like I need to read the fourth book, but I don't can't find it so yeah this was such a good book I oh my gosh I can't I can't even <laughs> so next time I have my husband come and say the books or the book slash books that he read and yeah because he kind of participated but like I don't think he followed any of the challenges he just kind of participated with me so yeah um I guess I'll wait for him to come okay so I have my husband here with me and he's going to talk about the books that he read don't give any details, just give your rating. Okay. Oh, hang on. Rating is what? So, do you have your phone? I don't have my okay. phone. Okay. So, five stars means that you loved it. It was the best book you ever read. Four stars means you liked it, but it wasn't the best book you read. Three stars means you like certain things about the book and certain things you did not like about the book. Two stars is... For the majority of the book, you did not like it, you had problems with it, but it wasn't the worst book, and one star is like the worst book you've ever read. I started, I don't know when, but the book I was reading is A Noise Downstairs by Linwood Barkley, and uh, I enjoyed this book. If we're going by what you said, uh, I would say it's a five, because because I haven't read that many books. <laughs> You don't have a standard? <laughs> no, no, until I do, it would be a five because this actually, it did, uh, like, from the beginning, it did suck me in, interested me, and it invoked, uh, like, at times I felt, you know, like, entranced, and then I would feel like, oh, no, like, then I, then but you were really involved with the characters. Yeah, and I, like, I went, I was going back and trying to, like, make sure I was on point for everything. And I, w I would say I was really satisfied mm -hmm. with everything. Okay. My second book that I just started reading is... How long? When did you start that? Um, a couple of days ago. You're uh, not giving specifics. Uh, uh, so today's Sunday, so like Friday. Okay. Um, this is Arrowwood. And okay, I never... By who? By Mick uh, Finlay. Okay. Now, you have not finished it, obviously. What page are you on? I'm on page 74, I think. 
Okay, so what is your prediction? What do you think it's going towards? What do you mean? For, uh, the, for the rating. I would say either a four or a five. Four or five? A four because, uh, like, currently I think A Noise Downstairs is very, very good. To where, like, even in the beginning I was sucked in. Mm -hmm. And in this one it was kind of it's like a, slow start. a little slow start. But I in, I enjoy it. I'm enjoying it so far. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do a booktube style. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, like that. Okay, so these are all the books that we read this week. Well, you read half of or like a quarter of one, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Did you like the Reading Rush book? I liked it. I enjoyed it more because you were enjoying it. And I would say that I enjoyed it because, like, I got to enjoy it at my own pace. Mm, that's good. Okay, so what book did you read, my baby? She read a book about colors. And I what was your star rating? Five stars? Okay. She gave five stars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, I hope you enjoyed the Reading Rush week. I hope your Reading Rush week was successful, like ours was, right? It was pretty mm -hmm. successful. Yeah, very good. I completed all my challenges. Mm -hmm. I'm um, happy about that. Yes, and I, and I finished it like with time to spare. I didn't finish it like on the stroke of midnight. Some people do. I did that one time. I like finished the fourth book on the stroke of midnight. You said this was the first year you completed it? Yep, the first year I completed all the challenges. You're looking at me through the screen. I can see you. No, I'm looking at this. I'm, you want me to be like this? I can't be like That's going to be really bad for you. Okay, fine. I'm looking at the little dot. Okay, so watch out for my August wrap up where I talk about the specifics of all the books I read. Um, spoiler I read 12 books this month. It's pretty good. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, so we'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye. Say bye, Camila. Bye. Say bye, Alex. Bye. Bye. bye.